What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to talk about human trafficking and why we need to have conversations around this with our kids and our young ones. Welcome back everybody like I said we're gonna be talking about human trafficking and why we need to have these conversations with our kids and our loved ones that are young uh, especially ones that are getting ready to go off to college um, even if they're getting ready to go with friends on some type of trip or vacation I'm not sure why we don't want to have these conversations um, I will tell you if you want some help with these conversations there's two great documentaries out there uh, one is by Craig Sawyer. Uh, he runs uh, Veterans for Child Rescue. His website is vetsforchildrescue.org. You can find his documentary, Contraland, which they are a nonprofit that go out and help local and federal agencies uh, bust human trafficking rings. I know they've had somewhere around 20 to 25 arrests made and 100% conviction rate. So they're doing great work. I highly recommend going out and donating to that organization as well too. But Contraland is a great documentary. Another great documentary is with a great friend of mine. Uh, her name is Kendra Geronimo. Uh, you can find her on Instagram under Hustle Queen. Uh, but she did a hell or with was with a documentary called Surviving Sex Trafficking. Uh, those are two great documentaries that I would highly recommend you sitting down and watching with your kids and helping them understand the importance of being aware of their surroundings. Uh, again, I, I talk about this all the time in my classes and I'm just absolutely amazed at the amount of people that don't, or I shouldn't say don't or haven't had these conversations with their kids. Should we be having these conversations? No, uh, but it is the unfortunate world that we live in right now. I've had these conversations with my 16 year old daughter. All right, she carries protection. No, she can't carry a gun yet, but she's got mace, or I shouldn't say mace, she's got pepper spray, she's got a hammer spike, uh, she's even got a little pocket knife. All right, you just never know what's gonna happen. You need to have these conversations. You need to make sure they have some protection uh, or get them started in some martial arts. My recommendation is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or Judo. I think those are the closest uh, to real life, but now there's other great martial arts, martial arts out there. I'm not saying the others aren't great. I just think those two are the closest you can get to what it would be like in a real life situation. But I've got some notes here that I've made doing some research on this. And just to give you an idea, 25 million people annually are exploited in human trafficking. 25 million people. That right there is pretty much how many people live in Australia. So give you a comparison. This this stuff is happening folks. It's happening near me. I'm willing to bet it's probably happening near you if you go in and actually start doing some research and looking into this. Okay? The average lifespan of someone of trafficking victim is seven to 10 years from when they started trafficking. The average age is 13 years old. 13 is the average age. And they focus between the ages of 13 to 21. Now a lot of, from what I've seen and from what I've found, they focus on your tourist areas and your college towns. Because those are usually places where the vast majority of the people aren't from there, they don't have family there, and before they're even noticed or realized, seen or, or noticed that they're missing, they're gone. They could be in another country, definitely gonna be in another state but we've got to make sure we have these conversations and make them aware 
let them understand you need to be watching your surroundings. If something feels off, it's probably off. But it's better to be safe than sorry. So to give you an idea for South Carolina, the top 10 counties for human trafficking, Horry County, down around the coast, the beach, tourist areas, Richland County, colleges, University of South Carolina, Greenville County, which is right up the road from me. It's growing as a tourist town. Charleston County, you're in Charleston, major tourist area for South Carolina. Spartanburg County, all right, again, right up the road. Anderson County, that's the county that I live in. That's sixth in our state. York County, Dorchester, Greenwood, Aiken, Cherokee, Clinton, Florence, Lexington, and Orangeburg. Those are the top 10 counties in South Carolina for human trafficking. Now, another reason where I'm at is so it's grown so much. We're right in between Charlotte and Atlanta, which have major airports, and then Atlanta is an international airport. And even with Richland County, Horry County, Charleston County, there's small airports in those areas too. Now, from what I saw from last year, from what our Attorney General was, say, was saying, we saw a 50% increase in the number of victims reported to the Human Trafficking Hotline. Now, that's great that it's being reported, but that's still not great that it grew like that. I mean, this is a growing industry. Um, 2021, it was $150 billion made that year off of human trafficking. Yes, I said billion, not million. $150 billion. Drug cartels are doing more human trafficking than they're doing drug trafficking because it's more lucrative right now. Now, if we go in, now some of these numbers are from 2020, 2021, I couldn't really find anything for 2022. But now if we look at the top 10 states, top 10 states, Nevada, major tourist areas, Mississippi, college towns, tourist towns, Florida, tourist towns, Georgia, colleges and tourist towns, Ohio, Delaware, California, Missouri, Texas, and Michigan. If we look at the top cities for 2020, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Georgia, Orlando, Florida, Miami, Florida, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Charlotte, North Carolina, all major tourist towns. Washington, D.C., I mean, you've got the capital, you've got all that, kids coming in and out on field trips and stuff, Atlanta, Georgia. You've got all kind of, you've got major league Baseball, you've got basketball, you've got football, you've got college football, you've got World of Coke, you've got the aquarium. I mean, so much college and tourist stuff going on. Orlando, what's the big thing in Orlando? Disney. Miami. Miami's huge, huge tourist town. Las Vegas, another huge tourist town. Charlotte, another huge tourist town. Okay? You got major league sports. You've got all kind of different tourist attractions to come to. It's, it's happening around you folks, whether you like it or not. You can't go sticking your head in the dirt and expecting it to go away. You definitely can't go through life going, it'll never happen to me. Or it'll never happen to my kids. You need to have these conversations. You need to make sure your kids are aware of their surroundings. You need to make sure they stay off of these things when they're out and about. Now, if it's a phone call, hey, that's fine. I understand you gotta take a phone call. But I can't tell you how many times I've been to the mall and this is what everybody is. Texting, typing, listening, our heads in, headphones in, heads buried in the phones. We've gotta get them out of that. If they've gotta to respond to you in a message or take a phone call, that's fine. But they can't stay buried into it. What shocked me is some of the some of the states that were very low in the list, like Massachusetts. All right, big tourist town, or you've got tour, you got Boston, and you got other tourist towns there. All right, New Hampshire. I've gone up there before. It's, I've been, Rhode Island, Idaho, Vermont, Connecticut, Wisconsin, Alabama. Those were 
at the bottom of the list. I think South Carolina was in the top 25 as far as states. So you, you need to get in and do your research, people, and take a look at this. Like I said, it's, it's happening whether you like it or not. It's probably happening right near you just like it is right near me. I'll be honest, I never would have thought that my, the county that I live in would have been so high in the list in the state. I never would have thought that South Carolina would have been in the top 25. Have these conversations. Make sure your kids and your teenagers and your young adults are aware of what's going on around them. It's not just 13 to 21. I mean, anybody can be susceptible to being grabbed up for human trafficking. But yes, they mainly focus between 13 and 21, 13 being your average age. They're even looking younger than that too. But we, we've got to stop keeping our head in the dirt and we need to make sure we have these conversations. Again, Contraland by Craig Sawyer, vetsforchildrescue.org. You can go find it there. It's a great documentary. Surviving Sex Trafficking. Go watch it. Listen to Kendra's testimonial. This is bad stuff and it happens fast. Now, surviving sex trafficking, I think now it's it's in a lot of places. Amazon Prime, um, I think it's on Hulu, if I'm not mistaken. Sling, um, I think premium versions of YouTube, iTunes. So I'll have them listed below in the description. Sit, sit them down, they're not long. I think each one of them 45 minutes to an hour long. But they are great documentaries to help them understand why they need to be aware of their surroundings. Please have these conversations, folks. Don't be scared to have these conversations. If you're near me, come in and take my Beyond Vigilance class. And we're going to talk about these kind of things, what to look for, how to respond and get away from it. All right? So, and if you're a student, if you're in that age range, 13 to 21, I give discounts. I want, you of all people need to be aware, I want to help you. If you need help having those conversations, please look me up. If you want me to travel to you, I'll travel to you. But we need to have these conversations, folks. I hope you'll take this to heart and you'll have these conversations with your kids and with your loved ones. Like I said, let them watch those documentaries. And don't forget, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range. Thank you.